I'm standing with Peggy Hartzell. She is the artist behind the Div Divine Lorraine Hotel. Miss Hartzell, what high school do you teach at? Okay, I teach at Henderson High School, which is in the Westchester School District, right outside of Philadelphia. Okay. And what is, I already said the name of your piece, so we'll just skip that question. Um, what type of artwork is this? Okay, it's a photograph, and it's taken with a fantastic plastic camera, which is called the Holga camera, um, which I really prefer with the square format and um, larger film, film format. It's also a sepia tone print, which then has been also digitized afterwards. I like the sepia tone, keeping it a little film noirish. Okay. If does your piece invoke any specific emotion from you as the artist? Hmm. Well, since the Divine Rain Hotel, I like historic places that had a real um, past, sort of a living past to it. So. Um, I mean, I'll leave it up up to the viewer, but it does have that local history piece to it um, and a sense of mystery, sort of an openness to that sense of mystery. Yeah, I was definitely going to say history myself. And is this piece a part of a series? Well, we, I got to be, there was a window where we could get into the Divine Lorraine Hotel. and So this wasn't legal? No, it was legal, very. <laughs> it was very legal. Actually, it was a really interesting period because they were trying to save all the woodwork and save all the tubs and recycle everything. And then they also brought in students from University of Penn and they actually interviewed people that had actually lived there because a lot of people came to see it. You could also buy things from the hotel pieces. So I actually, another piece, I did some 3D pieces with knobs from the tubs. And um, so they sort of had artifacts in it, so they were kind of collectible. And then at the end, we had a big show at, um, I believe it was the Yards Brewery. And it was all set up on the window, uh, the doors, the wooden doors from the hotel. So it was really a really nice celebration. And also they, ended up harvesting all these stories that people came in and told. So it was a really nice period. It was about two months window there. Seems like a nice way to say goodbye to the building. Well, yeah, it was supposed to be not so much goodbye, but goodbye to the past, and then they were going to renovate the whole thing. Oh, okay. And then we had the big crash, so that hasn't happened yet, unfortunately. But luckily, they got a lot of the um, what was valuable out of there, and, and it was documented. So students were there from everywhere. Um, Antonelli's probably here. <laughs> um, yeah, and a lot of painters. So it was a really nice mixed media event. And finally, is there a message that you're trying to communicate through your piece? Um, again, sort of honoring those things that um, disappear before you know it, or just suddenly there'll be a, a place, like even just like this building. Um, what was it? It was a store, right? And I remember coming here as a kid, and then suddenly these buildings are taken down without you knowing it, so I really like that part. Um, you also might like an organization called Hidden City, if you're into Hidden City, so they, hire artists to come and do these installations in places that aren't that well known around the city and then they're keeping a journal also on a daily basis on their website so they're also interested in photos um, and I don't know if you're a photographer but <laughs> and they do video too but it's 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 kind of exciting because it is they are people that are young professionals that are showing an interest in the layers of history and the roots in the city and all the you know because Divine Lorraine Hotel was really important that way too as far as being the only place where integrated place where people could stay people of color could stay well, I'd like to thank you for talking to us today. This is Peggy Hartzell. She's the artist behind the Divine Lorraine Hotel. Any last words for the viewers? Or? Go Flyers. <laughs> thank you.